Hey guys, so it's D Shack Tech, and today we'll be going over the new iPhone 4S. So let's get started. So first up, um, it was released today, iPhone 4S, not the iPhone 5, and just to get out of the way, it was not totally redesigned, it was more of a change on the inside, more of the internals and the speed, and a little bit of a new assistant, which I'll get into more in this video. Um, it's a very awesome update, um, I sort of do wish that there was a redesign, just for more stuff to look at, but what they did to the internals was just amazing, really bumps up the power and speed, and the entire um, effect of the iPhone 4S that you have as a mobile device. So first up what they did, they added the iPad um, 2 processor, the A5 chip. Um, this is a dual core processor which gives you about 7 times better graphics and 2 times faster. Um, it actually it actually rivals um, download links of the 4G, 4G phones such as the um, HTC Bionic and the Galaxy S2 and all those phones. And the iPhone 4S isn't f um, on the 4G networks as of yet, but it still rivals those. Um, of the 4G networks because of this new antenna, de antenna design which um, switches back and forth between transmitting and receiving data um, on this new revolutionary antenna design which is the same thing as iPhone 4, it's a little bit um, different software that runs it and so able to download um, speeds I think of like 14.4 or something so it's really awesomely fast um, download and upload speeds for the iPhone 4S. Along with the A5 um, dual core processor chip, they also upped the battery power, which the battery um, usage was awesome. Um, I think it gives you 8 hours of talk time, 6 hours of browsing, and 10 hours of video, as well as 40 hours of music. So you can pretty much do a lot with this iPhone, iPhone 4S on the single battery charge. They also, um, this phone is CDMA and GSM, but along with those two types of the iPhones, they have made it in one general world phone. So you could use both these chips anywhere in the world where you can roam on these on these different networks. And sorry they did not talk about the Sprint um, network for the iPhone 4S coming to the Sprint network. We don't know for that for sure, but it is definitely on the CDMA, um, Verizon, and the AT&T of GSM. They also upgraded the camera on the iPhone 4S with an 8 megapixel camera, a better light sensor, better optics with the five different lenses for better light sensory and all that. They also upgraded the, the aperture to, to f2.4 which allows more light to come in for better pictures. And so it also um, video captures at 1080p. So what this means is that you can upload those videos in HD, full HD videos from your iPhone 4S. Um, this also takes amazing um, still images quality, so you can take a picture with the iPhone 4S and put it out on an 8x10 um, piece of paper and have the pixels perfect on, the, on that piece of paper. So it takes really awesome pictures and video on the new iPhone 4S. And lastly, to this upgrade of the iPhone 4S, which is probably the coolest thing for me to for this iPhone 4S is the integration of Siri, your humble personal assistant. Um, basically what this does is what voice control did back in the day, this has made it just blown it out of the water, throwing dynamite in the river and it's gone incredible. I'm so impressed with this Siri assistant. Um, basically all you do, you hold down the home button and you can speak your natural voice to the Siri assistant and it will actually um, respond to you, know what you're saying, know what the meaning is behind what you say and actually answer your questions do what you wanted to do as a personal assistant would do in regular in reality but on your iPhone 4S. Now some of you guys might say, oh Droid and HTC have already done that. But what I've seen on the HTC Droids and all that with the with their voice control, it is not um, as great as this Siri. Um, the demonstrations that the Scott Forrestal did with the release of the iPhone 4S was incredible. He could talk to the iPhone, say, make a schedule for twelve o'clock with with Phil Schiller and all that and it would just go right to the calendar set it up right for you and ask for you to confirm and all that and it would just be done like that you could do it you can do it so many ways you have so many different um, internals and subjects you can talk about you can search things on the internet you can set up meetings you can remind yourself with a reminders application and a whole bunch of more stuff that I can't even imagine yet and it's all on the Apple website you can go check that out put the links in the description down below but I think you guys can know about, know about apple.com and so along with the Siri Assistant, better battery life, better antennas, um, a better camera, they also, of course, added the iOS 5, which everyone knows about. And so with all these coupled in to the iPhone 4S, it looks like a pretty awesome device, a great, great upgrade to the iPhone 4. And so with, with the release of the iPhone 4S, they also changed the prices below. And the first thing that struck me as really um, awesome or weird, I guess, was that the iPhone 3GS is free. 
I don't really understand why that is, but it's free, so if you want to go get an iPhone 3GS, you can go get it for free, I guess, with a contract, of course. Um, and then they also did the iPhone 4 for $100, 8 gigabyte, 8 gigabyte model, model only for $100, and the iPhone 4S, the usual 8 gigabyte, 16 gigabyte, and 32 gigabytes for the 100, 200, 300, all that. All, we, all the prices will be down in the description below for the actual prices. I'm not really sure off the top of my head for what the actual prices are. Along with the iPhone 4S, they did announce some other um, minuscule um, iPod news. Um, they did upgrade, upgrade the iPod Nano um, internally with a new um, application um, integration where you can have big apps that just take up the whole entire screen. And you can scroll through those instead of having to swipe in between in the apps. In between them, you just have this home page, I guess, of just one app, and you can just slide across. So it's just this huge bar of applications that you can choose from. And they also upgraded the iPod, um, the iPod Touch. They, the first notable thing is that they added a white version with, along with the black version and they also dropped the prices down to more um, $200, $300, $400 for 8 gigabytes, 32, or 16 gigabytes, 32 gigabytes, and 64 gigabytes respectively. Um, and so that is the iPod Touch 4th generation and the iPod Nano iOS 5 will be released on October the 12th. It will be a free download and will work on most um, iPods and iPhones. Of course, it will come with iPhone 4S, iPod Touch 4th generation and 3rd generation, and all the other um, iPods that are not named will be in the list form right here because I can't name them off the top of my head. And of course, what everyone wants to know is that the iPhone 4S will be available on October the 14th. Pre-orders do start on October the 7th, so if you want it, go check it out on the Apple website. Pre-order on October the 7th, and you will be able to get it, might be able to get it, um, a week later on October the 14th. And so that is pretty much it for this recap of the iPhone 4S slash Apple Keynote um, today. Um, so it's actually pretty sweet. I'm actually really impressed with this, especially with the Siri um, assistant. I was really impressed with that. That made me... That made me. That made it worthwhile for me to watch the video. I'm um, sort of let, let down with not uh, with, without the new total redesign of the iPhone 4, but with the Siri, it makes it all a little bit better. That's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this recap. Um, check my previous video on my channel as well as my Twitter feed. If you like what you see here, check out my channel D Shack Tech, and be sure to subscribe to be notified for my semi-daily tech-related videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.